Live with uh, Tom McKenna. We're going to do again a relaxation because it's that time on a Thursday. So we're looking forward to it. And once again, we are a few minutes late. So that could end up being tradition. And um, so I'm going to just bring in Tom. Tom, how are you today? All great, Amy. All great. I hope everybody and yourself are out there are fine, and uh, as am I. <laughs> so hopefully everybody is. Uh, getting ready for the relaxation and we will take you through that shortly. Yes, and we were chatting earlier on um, because what, what we covered last week and uh, when we talked a good bit about the life energy and the effect that it can have obviously on a, on a person and we wanted to talk to those that are thinking of doing some type of training or that maybe they're exercising in, in a duco gym or a gym in, in, in general actually but more about how they could apply the principles of relaxation to their training. And obviously, you're a man with lots of experience in this area. So, and I do think it makes such a difference when you understand about this type of approach to training and exercise because you, know, you really can pay attention, you develop this level of concentration, and then your results are transformed. And it really does, it makes training a lot more interesting and even fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, last week we spoke a bit about, well, quite a bit about um, the the process of relaxation and the release of the energy that that actually brings about. So you allow the resistance that's normally held in your mind to relax, which is the basis of relaxation, and you you relax any concerns you have, and you relax your physical condition. And then there's an immediate response from your life inside or, or the energy that motivates and um, drives the body and drives the mind. So that part of you surfaces, if you like, and comes up. Um, so the relaxation then is a large part of um, what I did originally from a healing point of view, where we had a, 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 a therapy um weekly session, twice weekly sessions where we would get groups of people in and teach them how to relax to a deep enough level so that that brought about an exchange of energy, that the energy would come to the surface and move out. And this from the therapist and also from the person taking part, um, and this would produce uh, quite an extraordinary change in the way that um, uh, the person operated themselves, and then the results were quite dramatic. Now, if you then, if you, if you if you look at the mechanism of relaxation, therefore that releases an energy which has a transformative effect on the person physically and mentally. It goes further than that again, but that's not really the territory that we need to go into today and tonight. So, if you're in the gym and it, or, or training in general. Um, the ability to release that energy is the vital ingredient with regard to results anywhere that you're anything that you're involved in because that it's like getting a, a turbocharge into the system for the training for creative uh, tasks for healing for relationships so you're releasing the energy at a, a kind of a very a very strong or turbocharged level, which has a very transforming effect. So in the, the gym structure, uh, when Tony was setting up the gym structure, he, he, he actually took the mechanism for releasing the energy, the concentration and the focus on, uh, on the muscle and on the exercise. He took that whole mechanism through a university research situation, which basically meant that um, the, the, they have very stringent uh, ways of actually measuring these things so that it can't be considered to be um, an illusion that somebody's having, if you like, that it had to actually uh, work through various criteria to be uh, passed by the university. So what was extraordinary about it was that the, the group who were... Um, the group who are basically, you know, doing the the extra dimension to the training, um, the, the group that were on the seminar, 
Um, the main difference from their point of view was that they learned how to relax the stress in the mind and release that energy. And while when they got to the point where they could release that energy, you feel this energy flowing through you before you step into the machine to train. So you relax, you feel this energy passing through the body, and then you step into the machine. Now, if you then are training, say, your legs or your arms, whatever, you then focus your mind so you've relaxed yourself, so you're not having conflicting ideas in your head as you step onto the machine and they remain there, which means that you're not really training at even vaguely close to 100% all right, of your capacity. So you, you, when you step in and you've done the relaxation and the energy starts to flow through, you can then focus on the muscle that you're beginning to work on, be it your, say, legs or your, your biceps, which would be this part of your arm here. So as you're doing the movement and you're relaxed and you feel the energy flowing through and you then focus on that part of the body, that immediately fills up with energy. Now, you can, if, you, if, you, if you become very, um, I suppose, if you become very relaxed, you become aware of the energy building up in the arm, but you can actually see it. It's like the whole thing kind of almost glows. Now, you might think, ah, oh, come on, this is a little bit hard to take. But when you've done it a few times, you begin to actually feel it, first of all, in, the, in that area, and it just fills up. And as that's filling up, then, you notice that it's like that energy is lifting the weight. We're not doing it anymore. So what the people found who were doing the using that technique of focusing the, on the muscle, they, because it appeared as if that energy was lifting, they were lift, they found themselves lifting much heavier weights than normal for that person. In fact, a lot of older people who were on the um, seminar doing the research, they were able to lift as heavy, if not heavier weights than younger people, which I thought was quite interesting and amusing. But all it, it, all it takes is for the ability of the person to focus on the muscle. So they could lift very heavy weights and it seemed effortless. I mean, that's what they were saying. This wasn't very hard. This was straightforward enough. This didn't seem to be that difficult, but they were lifting now poundage that in, in fairness, they weren't even able to look at prior to this. It was just not possible for them to do it. And so that's the key to, and you will, if you ever read uh, people talk about being in the flow and that type of thing, and you talk to them about their experience during that time, they always use the word effortless. Mm. And even though it's, they're saying something that's effortless, that is much more difficult to do than the next person to them who are ex exerting a massive amount of effort, they're saying it was effortless. And they have, there's so little effort in it, if you watch them, they're able to look around at the audience in a race or in whatever, and they're able to just take it all in while they are performing at an extraordinary level effortless. Now that was what I, that's the part that I found and find fa fascinating about it. And that's why I think that the, the system that uh, Tony, if you like, handed the tools as a group of people who wanted to do the Adupa Gym system was very profound because it produced that type of transformation in the person which allowed them to lift ahead of it. And I've said this to you many times before, and I'm sure you've said it many times, the, when you then were lifting that heavier weight, the physical body was releasing more growth hormone. It was actually promoting more growth hormone, which burns fat and increases your lean tissue. Um, so there are two interesting factors, because unless you can lift heavier weights in a very short period of time, you won't release growth hormone. 
you understand? So if you don't release the growth hormone, you will find then that you don't get the, the, the uh, reduction in fat and you don't hold on to your lean tissue. And that's the difference between that system of training and all other forms of training that don't produce growth hormone. It, and that's it, what it, we need it, hormones. Sorry. Yeah, because what's interesting about it is that um, although although the uh, because of the way the nature in in, the, in which you train, it almost becomes more intensive. M mentally, it's not. It doesn't seem to be more intensive. It's uh, uh, it's actually more enjoyable. It's like all of your attention is on what you're doing. And therefore, you don't have a lot of attention left over, almost for the mental resistance. And you get this great, um, you get this great buzz from being in that sort of flow state. And you do notice, like you're saying, it, that you lift much heavier weight. And all the research, as we know, points towards the fact that if you can increase the intensity at which you train, then you increase your levels of growth hormone, and that's the, hor the hormone that helps to burn fat and to build muscle. And it's like, it is like that. It is very effortless. It's uh, intense physically, but not actually mentally. Exactly. And, and that's, you know, you can't, like people will, will kind of often, when they're, they're talking about training and the results and so on, kind of move through that very fast. But you, you really have to take a look at that. That part, is an extraordinary element of training. And without that, you were spending or expending a lot of energy and a lot of time and not producing a result. Mm. So to me, I, I don't, it never made sense to me. And when Tony structured it in such a way that you could do a 20 minute uh, exercise routine at that level of intensity and get a bigger result than somebody who was hanging around the gym for hours, uh, it, to me, it was it was a no-brainer. Like I couldn't understand why people would want. The problem doing the training for long periods of time is that you can't keep up that level of intensity. So for the first 20 minutes or so, you're producing growth hormone, and then after that, it's just because you, you you're like to, to hang around in the gym. Well, that's that's your business, but you're not effectively training. The, the effective yeah. part of the training comes at the very beginning. And that is interesting because, uh, and, you know, a lot of people when they're thinking about going training, they, they're busy and they, they may be very uh, uh, busy in a lot of areas and they think to themselves, there's no way I can put an hour into this training, even though they know how valuable it is. But they will, they will think, oh, well, 20 minutes, okay, I can, this is fantastic. I do this at my lunch break. I can nip over to the gym, do my training routine, and nip back again, and there's no problem, and, and I, I've released all this growth hormone. Now, a lot of the research subsequent to us doing the research uh, in 06 and 05 um, has backed up what we're saying. Like right back to last year, the year before, I was looking at, yeah. at a program um, by, um, Oh, anyway, the guy, what he was doing was he was basically looking at um, why if he pedaled on a bike for, a, you know, maybe a minute or two or three minutes with full intensity, Flat when out, they yeah. did blood, when he did bloods on them, they, they based it. In, in, in Edinburgh University, when they took the bloods, the first blood, he could, they can see the fats in the blood. It's on the top of the, the actual, uh, in, the, in the vial, okay? And then when you did this uh, routine, the, the, the fat had all disappeared. And he said, is that possible? How can you possibly do something that has such a direct effect? And they said, for a period of time, they didn't really understand what exactly was going on, but they had once discovered it's because you produce both home and you burn the fat. And it's a very immediate thing. And I mean, I suppose structurally, if you look at long distance runners versus sprinters, you can see both trend differently. A long distance person will have to train uh, for many, many miles, but they're also breaking down their lean team. To me, as, as I understand it, because I've trained some guys who wanted to uh, do long distance stuff, and I contrary to everything that they knew and understood, wanted them to gain weight. Yeah. I was thinking, like, carry this extra weight, times will go down. And then when I got them to put up muscle, their times decreased and decreased effortlessly. 
to put them how easy it was to run a marathon. And to struggle, they were struggling with things before this, getting progressively worse. So sprinters train differently to long distance guns, and their structures are different. Yeah. And that's an indicator. They, a sprinter first does this bit of training, which releases growth hormone, okay, because it produces the growth hormone and then burns fat, but they hold on to their lean tissue. So structurally, from a, a health point of view and from an aging point of view, it is not good to lose your lean tissue, your muscle. Yeah. For fellas and girls, so the real interesting idea there is that they, they associate the release of growth hormone from the pituitary gland with the aging clock in the body that basically is, is what governs how fast or how slowly a person ages. And if they can, if the person can train into their, what you would call their elderly age, okay, beyond say 70 or so, you will notice that because they hold on to certain amount of lean tissue, they, all of the mechanisms that normally govern aging is slow drive back. So it, the gym in itself is designed to increase your ability to train without effort, produce more growth hormone, to hold on to your lean tissue, which slows down the aging process. It's not a bad deal for 20, for 20 minutes. No. It's pretty neat. And, and I, I think that Tony um, was way ahead of his time um, when he put the whole structure together. And this is why, um, and it's very interesting because of the environment we find ourselves in now, it suits the smaller gyms. Yeah. Because you can take care of every person that comes into the gym in, in, in all aspects of their training without any difficulty whatsoever, whereas the bigger gyms are struggling now in finding it difficult to do that. And so it, it actually turned out to be very, very valuable that it's a smaller gym and that people can come in on an appointment, move through the machine, and yeah. before anybody else comes in, they have left the building. So it's a very, very straightforward mechanism for yeah, the type very of safe. we find ourselves in for the safety. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and because it's because of twenty minutes also the fact that you're not in the building for that length of time because they, they recommend that you're you know, if you're gonna be somewhere with somebody that it's it's really less than half an hour. So the fact that you're training just for twenty minutes is uh, I mean it's brilliant. It really makes a difference. It means that people can still exercise and train which is so important for their immune system because it's a bit of a double whammy at the moment where um, people are worried about obviously getting sick and worried about the virus and but not being able to to do the types of activity and maybe maybe not even eating like they should to support yeah. their immune system to protect themselves so yeah, yeah it's yeah. like a double hit yeah exactly exactly and, and you know I mean at the end of the day it's it's like saying that you have you have a mechanism that releases this energy, okay, which has all of these very positive effects on you physically and mentally. And then if you take it on into, say, the relaxation environment, which we're going to do very shortly, you are then in a situation where you release a flood of this energy into the body, which then yeah. repairs the physical structure and repairs the mental structure. Yeah. And don't say, well, well, how, what happens there? Well, mentally, you will find that people, if you're very stressed over a period of time, the endorphins and various things that are produced in the body and the mechanisms for, um, you know, how messaging is transmitted in the, in the brain as well is affected negatively by this. So over a period of time, then, the person finds it difficult to relax in any environment. And so they're in, under a constant level of stress, which mm. is really uh, a negative mental environment for that person. So they're trying to get on with their lives. They may be trying to look after their kids, they keep their job going and so on, but their mindset makes the whole thing very stressful. And once you're in that kind of stressful environment mentally, you will find that you, your ability to successfully carry out a job is impaired. And that's a mental state then that is not conducive to you being successful. 
So by doing the relaxation then, you're learning to flood the body with that energy. That has a natural mechanism within it. It has, its nature is to bring everything back into balance again. That's its nature. So it, it takes care of us as best it can, provided we give it room to operate. So the relaxation is giving it room to operate within us. We flood the system with that, flood the mind with, that, with the energy. And as it passes through us, it brings everything back into alignment again. And very quickly now, you'll notice that you've got a different physical sense of well-being, better energy, and also you feel mentally much more positive. Yeah. And you feel that you're going to be able to achieve uh, end products because you can hold that state. You can hold the state of relaxation. And as you practice it more and more and more, you will be able to hold it for days on end without stuff coming in. It doesn't mean that your environment isn't going to be stressful. But as everybody knows, and they, it's just that they can't do it, is that it's how you handle the stress decides whether or not you're successful or otherwise. So this is teaching you how to handle the stress, if you like, um, of everyday life. Then the, the, the training in the gym is using the mechanism of releasing the energy into the body and then into the actual muscle so that you can, in that 20 minutes, lift a much heavier set of, uh, of uh, weights, which then triggers that response from the uh, pituitary gland and releases growth hormone, and that floods your system, and that triggers this mechanism for burning fat and then holds on to lean tissue, which is, is the opposite to the way people normally train, where they, they burn their lean tissue off and they actually get weaker. You know? so and, can, and can then also accumulate fat around the waist as a result of it. Because you, you well, often see somebody who does a lot of swimming or a lot of running and they can't seem to shift a bit from the waist, which is I, the important part. You're accumulating it around the waist. It, that's not the only place that it is. No. That's the unfortunate thing. Yeah. And so a lot of people would, who are, might not be overweight as such on the scales, if you look at their structure and they have waistline uh, fat, depending on the type of, of fat and where it is on the waistline, believe it or not, um, you are then, sh it's showing you that there is, there are fat deposits elsewhere in the body. Yeah. Around vital organs. Organs, yeah. It does not work. And so if you're burning fat, you're burning fat in there as well as out here. Mm. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. And so you have a massive hit because of your ability to focus and release energy into that to produce growth hormone. And that's what makes the system so effective. And that's why your walls are littered with people who have lost stones in weight. And they're, they're so transformed. I'm often there and I'm looking at these photographs and I'm saying, I'm not even the same person. And I'm thinking, this is not the same person, Jamie, who is this person? And it's absolutely astonishing now. Like a person, um, who might be a couple of stone overweight, and then they transform themselves and they lose that weight, they're almost unrecognizable, the transformation is so amazing. And of course that has a very dramatic effect on that person's social life, um, their, their ability to, to um, you know, their confidence levels shoot up. So their approach to their job, their approach to other people, to relationships, all changes. So it's, it, it has a massive effect on um, that, that person's direction in life. If that person stayed in that condition before that, they, you, could, you, could, you could say, okay, they're not going to be able to um, really uh, you know, challenge themselves in a particular job because they don't feel confident enough to do it. So if you change that, they're tackling situations they would never tackle before reasonably effortlessly because they feel so good about themselves. And so that's why we, we, we so I'm so enthusiastic about it because I, I, I don't know a system out there that's as effective as that. And I, the key is the ability to focus on the muscle, for instance, in the training, 
or the key in the relaxation is to let go of the tensions and the stresses and then free out the energy. So the key is freeing out the energy in both situations. So you let that flood the system and that then literally repairs everything that comes across and brings it back to perfect health. And so this, the mechanism is the same in the gym, but you're bringing the person back around to a balanced state of health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always shocked just before we get into the relaxation, but I'm always, I was, when I started training people, I was shocked the difference you could make in those 12 days, those first 12 days, um, you know, in the university study, they lost on average, what, seven and a half pounds of body fat and th gained about three pounds of lean tissue. And you sort of think, okay, well, that, that was a study and maybe that was an average. But honestly, when, when you see people go through that program and you see their pictures before and after, there's a, it's almost like a complete rejuvenation in such a short period of time. That's when you realize how effective the, that type of training is combined with the mental aspect and then also with the nutrition. Okay, it's yeah. amazing. Out there, like there's no. just nothing out there like that. Yeah. That's why we're saying these asking about it because I, I've never seen it like that in any other system. Just never. Yeah. They will be on about losing a stone in six months and I'm going, no, these guys are doing it in 10 days, 12 yeah. days. You know what I mean? It's just incredible. Now you might think, oh, well, that's not a great. We've, we've had them tested. We've had, they've been to their doctor, they've done it on their doctor's um, instructions, and they've had bloods taken before and after. We've had all of that done. And like, what's fascinating is, like, at the moment, you could say we've got a pandemic situation outside. Well, over here, there is a pandemic of heart attacks, of yes. struggles of uh, diabetes, which is massively killing people, forgive me for going into that area, but it's massively damaging people in all uh, walks of life. And nobody's mentioning a word about this, perfectly honest with you. So what we find is, if the person can turn that around and start producing growth hormone, it has a huge effect on diabetes straight away. Type two we're talking about now. So with type two, you can, it is, it is, you can change the parameters of your lifestyle and turn that around before it does any permanent damage. Yeah, very quickly. So, you, literally in 12 days, I would see people's um, insulin levels drop, their marker for diabetes falling away to almost nothing because they've changed their diet and they've changed their uh, training routine and they're yeah. producing growth hormone. So, it's, it's a phenomenal transformation. So there's so it affects so many different aspects of our person's life that I would be very enthusiastic about that system. And I think people need to understand that the ability to release that energy into the muscle that you're working on allows you to lift more weight and produces more growth hormone. And that's the key. Yeah. And as you produce the growth hormone then you're burning fat and you're holding on to lean tissue. All of that's reversing age, it reverses, it turns the clock back. So uh, while I, I obviously everybody is interested in dealing with the present situation, I think they need to be cognizant of the idea that there are other situations that are uh, much more common and have a much more dramatic effect on people's health and their ability to stay alive than this particular problem that we have at the moment. Yeah. And I think that you, these are things we can do something about constantly. I mean, yeah. you, you've heard, if you're looking at any of the news problems, they're talking about, well, you have to be careful um, not to ignore the fact that there are people out there, you know, having heart attacks or having problems that have to be treated by the hospitals even though they're overrun by situations with regard to COVID-19. So they, they can't ignore the fact that these people are going to die here unless they're taken care of. But with yeah. the relaxation and, and with, the, um, with the training in the gym, we're very aware that the program in the gym is a life-saving program. We're very aware, we're aware of that from the very beginning. Um, so that when, you know, I was doing the therapy end of things, the people, when they came along to me, I changed their diet, we did the relaxation, we released the energy, and I got them to train. It was like, there was a whole lifestyle change 
And if they did that, they had permanent alteration in their health from then on. And I've met people many, many, many years afterwards saying, Tom, I'm still on the diet, and they would be in great shape, and some of them in their 80s and so on, and just, you know, it made such a difference to them, and they felt so well that they stayed on the program from then on. And that's so we're very aware of that, and we, the whole thing is designed around transfer, uh, transforming the person's health, and we're just giving you some of the key factors that change your health. It has an immediate effect now on diabetes. That's like a very immediate thing. Yeah. And um, so I think it's something that people are not aware of. And they also, with diabetes, they're not aware of the, the various aspects of the, the person physically that it affects and damages. Quite, quite you know, to, to a very devastating uh, level yeah. of that person. So if, if the training and the, the change in programs is able to transform that particular problem, well, I think that the, the person should at least pay attention to that. So they're, they're coming in to train in the gym, but there's a huge amount more that they're going to gain from that than just getting into really good shape and feeling well. There would be actual changes in their condition. And if they came along with a condition, a problem, after you've cleared it with the doctor and you're cleared to train, well then we find that if they train and, and, and watch their, their uh, nutritional intakes, we can transform all of those areas. And that, that's to me is, is what a gym is supposed to be about. The person comes in and they walk in through the doors and they hope that people are, are going to be um, interested enough in the person to help them transform their lives. That's what they're hoping for. And they the put their money on the table. That's what they're hoping for. And that's what they're paying for. And we take very great, um, are very aware of that and want to make sure that they get that level of transformation. Absolutely. 100%. So we better um, kick into the relaxation people sitting on yeah. the edge of their seat. Not in relaxation then, we're going, to do, we're going to do that release of energy again. That's the key to it all. And I, I'm gonna, you can work away, I'm gonna attempt to give you your own screen because for some reason I've got a split screen when I should, oh, yeah. So let me just see if I can work out how to uh, get rid of me and just have you. Yeah. Technology is great when it's working. Well, I'm glad you there's, two me, there's two of me. There's two of me now, and uh, only one of you, which is uh, really worrying. I, I, I'm not sure what that means psychologically. <laughs> <but they're... laughs> I tell you what. I, what I'll do is I will create a new. You can start, and I'll uh, create a new empty scene with just you. There you, there you go. go. Hello. Okay, so um, as you are uh, aware at this stage, uh, we will move into the relaxation. Um, and as you know, from if you've done the uh, exercise up till now, you know basically that we're going to spend a little bit of time um, getting ourselves, making ourselves comfortable. Uh, so ideally, um, if you're in a situation where you are going to either lie down on the floor or lie down on the bed or sit in a chair and that you won't be disturbed for the next, say, 20 minutes or so, that would be great. All right, so now if you, if you are lying on the ground, if you just, uh, or, and see, so just close your eyes now gently. Just let them close gently, that's it. Now, bring your attention down to your feet. Now let your feet fall off to each side. Put your hands down beside you on the ground with the palms of your hands facing up and tuck your chin in a little bit. Just straightening up your head so it's not uh, falling backwards. Just bring it forward a little bit. That's good. If you're seated now, you're on the ground and your hands are on the 
on your lap with the palms of your hands facing upwards. That's great. Now, again, just to bring you uh, back to what I, I, I many times say at the beginning of the relaxation, you will notice that as soon as you almost start to, to think about doing the relaxation at this stage, you will feel an energy, which is terrific because it means that you're practicing the relaxation to such a level that you only have to contemplate the idea of relaxation and that releases the energy because as soon as you think about doing the relaxation, you let go of stressful thoughts and emotions. So you just let it go straight away. The body almost immediately becomes relaxed all over. Even if you've had a stressful day, it immediately starts becoming very, very relaxed. And you feel an energy or a tingling sensation in your hands and in your feet and a kind of mildly running up and down along the body. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring our attention to each part of the body and relax that part of the body. So we're, we're doing this so that we bring ourselves to a deeper level of relaxation by focusing on each part of the body. Now, if you train, as I was saying, you will find this exercise quite useful for focusing on the muscle that you're working in the gym. And that's why um, you know, we find that if people do the relaxation as well as train, that it works super well because their ability to focus on the muscle is quite high from doing the relaxation. Very good. So if you bring your attention down to your feet, let go of any tightness or tension in the feet. So you'll notice that as you let go of all the tightness and tension in the feet, that increases the energy, the tingling that you feel. Because now you've relaxed a little bit by just thinking about the whole idea of the relaxation. Now you're being very specific and you're just looking or focusing on a particular part of the body. And as you relax that then, that frees out the energy in that area and you feel it's like an increased kind of energy or tingling sensation, or sometimes it's like a heat rushes through that area. Okay, that's, that's really good, man. And so you bring your attention to your calves. So you're letting go of any type of tension in the calf, just, just let it go now completely. That's really good, man. Very good. Let go now even more. That's really good. And you'll feel, as I said, that energy increasing in the calves now. It's kind of like in your mind's eye, you'll feel it like as, as if you are, that area is just getting brighter. Bring your attention to your thighs, any type of attention that you feel in your thighs, just let it go now completely. Let it go now. It's really, really good. Let it go now. And again, you can feel that energy. Um, and again, it's like that area gets very, very bright. Very good. So you're bringing your attention now to your hips. You're letting go of any tightness of tension now in the hips. Let it go now completely. That's fantastic. Let go now even more, just letting it sink down into the ground or into the chair. It's really good. That's it. Very good. Now you bring your attention to the base of your spine. Any tightness of tension that you feel there, you're just letting it go now completely. And it's like that area just kind of lights up. You can feel an energy in it, and then it just, in your mind's eye, you can see it like a light. And it's that whole area is getting very bright. And you're then moving your attention up along the spine vertebrae by vertebrae each time, and each one of these just gets brighter and brighter. And it's like that light is moving up through the spine, lighting up that whole area, moving right up along, vertebrae by vertebrae now. And as it's happening, you are you feel like you're kind of sinking down into the ground or into the bed or into the back of the chair. And now we're up at the back of the neck and just letting go of any tightness or tension that you feel there. Fantastic. Just let it go now completely. Yeah. 
That's really good. Let go of any tightest attention now in the back of your head. Let it go now completely. That's it. Now bring your attention to the top of your head. Let go of any tightest attention that you feel there. Bring your attention now to your forehead. That's really, really good. Now that's becoming much smoother now. It's also an area that you can express stress through, if you get that. So you're, you're letting that go now completely and it becomes very smooth. It's like it just, just dissolves away from there and becomes really, really smooth. That's really, really good. Bring your attention to your eyes. You then go of any tightest attention you feel there. It's excellent. So you're not closing your eyes hard or, or in a very tight way. You're just letting it close very gently. Bring your attention down to your mouth, letting go of any tightest attention there. And you'll find that your mouth opens slightly then because the jaw is just releasing. That's good. Great. Bring your attention now to your neck. Let go of any tightness or tension you feel in the neck. That's really good. And let it go again. Let it go now. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Now paying attention to uh, your shoulders. Let go of any tightness or tension now across the shoulders. Again, it's an area that you'll notice that as soon as you brought your attention to it, you may have had your shoulders up tight, up, lifting them up. So you're letting that all go completely now. Just letting it drop down and let it go completely. And this is what happens, that the stress affects different parts of the body and it's going on all the time and you don't even notice that you're holding yourself in a particular way. So you, by bringing attention to that, you let that go completely. That's marvelous. Really good. Now let go of any tightness or tension right down along the arms, all the way down along the arms into the hands. Now you'll feel an energy in the hands quite strongly now, you'll feel it. And if you, in your mind's eye, it's like a globe in each hand of energy, like white energy. That's really good. Really good. Well, bring your attention now up to the chest. You let go of any tightness of tension there, letting it go now completely. Again, you may find that that area is held very tight, so you're just letting it go now completely. Very good. And you're bringing your attention finally to your stomach area. And this is an area that we all are, are quite aware we can hold quite tightly, and if we get a shock or a fright or whatever, it will hit us in that area. And so you're letting go of all the tightness and tension that has built up there, possibly, to be honest with you, for many, many years. So you're letting all of that go. And every time you do the relaxation, more and more of that built up stress is dissolved. And that has a phenomenal effect on your digestive system and how well you break down food and how effectively it's distributed through the body and how well you um, you feel as a result of um, you digesting your food because it's being digested properly. Very good. Now you'll find yourself, you just, the whole body now is just becoming much, much more relaxed. But that tingling that you're feeling in each part as we went through it, it's kind of like it's all joining up together now. And you can feel that tingling or energy moving all the way through the body, up and down, in a very mild but pleasant way, it just moves up and down through the body. And it's like you can feel it running through all the cells. Now you have billions and billions of cells all over the body doing various jobs and so on. And that energy now is being released out and it's, it's, it's kind of moving through those cells. And it, 
activates the cells, um, brings them back to normality, brings them back to perfect health. And it also begins to dissolve anything, any waste materials that are um, clogging those, that, that, that area, those areas. You tend to, over the years, gather waste material. It can be all in all sorts of forms, but it can damage the function of different organs in the body. So you're releasing all of that, returning the body back to perfect health now. Now we're bringing our attention, because you've moved into this very deep level of relaxation now, we're just bringing our attention to the top of the head. And at the top of the head now, you can just see this like a, a globe of light, and it's just, as you focus on it now, it just sweeps down through the body. And because the body is so relaxed, it's got no resistance to the movement of that energy, and it sweeps down through the body now, right down and out through the hands and out through the soles of the feet. As it's moving right through now, every cell is lighting up, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now, brighter and brighter. And it, as it's moving through the body, it moves through all the major organs, through the brain, down through the lungs and the heart, down to the digestive tract, down to the liver, down to the spleen, down to the kidneys, down through the legs, and right out through the body. And just literally, as it moves through those cells, it transforms them completely into perfect health. And you're moving to an even deeper level. Because you now understand the value of relaxation and the value of the deepest level of relaxation because that releases even more energy. So you're paying attention to the top of your head. But this time, this light is really, really bright and it's cascading down through the body. And everything goes boom, lights up, lights up, brighter, 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 passing right through the body now. And you can see it in your mind's eye. You can see the light passing through the body. Like It's like a cascade of liquid gold passing through every single cell. And the cell just is, it's almost, it explodes in energy. And that transforms that cell into an absolutely perfect functioning cell, back to its perfect functioning state. So it's moving through the body now very, very strongly. And we're bringing our attention now back up to the top of the head. And as you're looking there, your eyes going back upwards, trying to actually see this light, it moves right through, cascading right through the body now, out to the soles of your feet and out to the palms of your hands and out to everyone belonging to you now. So it moves out from you in a huge wave of light and it moves out to everyone belonging to you out to your children, out to all of your relations, out to everyone belonging to you. And as it hits off them, it passes through them as well, the same as it's passing through you, and it activates everything in that person to perfection. Now, moving out past them, through them, and out to everyone belonging to them. So the power of that energy now is incredibly strong, and it just moves out, and that's its natural movement. Its natural movement, once it's released, is to go out to everybody else. Firstly, to everyone that you know, and then out past them to everyone that they know, and it just keeps on going in an ever-widening circle out from you, and it passes then over that cascade of light. There's like a wave of light passing over the whole globe of the world. And it's in your mind's eye. You'll actually see it from where you are moving out over and over and over and over through this over the globe of the world. And like a wave of light passing over. And wherever you are in the world, all of those waves of light are interconnecting and moving on and moving out over the whole world. And it's literally transforming everything that it touches. And you're moving to an even deeper level of relaxation now. Because you know that in this state of relaxation, you are the most effective you've ever been in transforming your own life and the life of everybody that you love and that you know. And it's moving out beyond you to the whole world because that is the natural movement. That is the purpose of life. That is your purpose 
and that is, if you like, the divine plan for the whole planet, that people will allow their energy out into the world and that will transform the world completely. And that's the movement of life. So you're moving to an even deeper level now. And you're going to a level that of deeper level and, and deeper than you've ever gone before. You're just moving right down into that. And as that happens, you will find that the, the energy is so strong that it's like your, your physical and your mental structure has just become light. It's just like an actual light and it's only vaguely in the shape of your physical structure. So there's just this massive light and it's just literally flowing out from you in a huge cascade of light and a huge wave moving out from you now to everyone belonging to you. And in your mind's eye, you can see the effect it's having on them. It's releasing their energy, dissolving anything of negative energy that's bothering them. It's going through them and out to everyone belonging to them. And it transforms them physically and mentally and also spiritually. So, because that energy movement is the actual purpose of life, and that's the direction that life is taking with every human being. So, you are now lining yourself up with that purpose, and you are allowing that life out into the world, which is what you came in to do in the first place. That's fantastic. So, you're moving to an even deeper level of relaxation. This energy cascades down through you and out to everyone belonging to you now. And you can see that the intensity of it has become such that it's absolutely lighting up everyone that it touches. And it moves through them and out to everyone belonging to them, through them and out to everyone belonging to them. And it just goes out in this huge, vast wave of light. And you can see that coming from the four corners of the world, from everywhere that you are. And you're all over the world now at this stage. And the same thing is happening. And they're all converging and merging with one another back and forwards in huge waves, transforming everything that it touches. And the whole globe of the world becoming brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's fantastic. Brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's fantastic. That's really, really, really good. Yeah. And you're moving to an even deeper level of relaxation now. Because you feel that you recognize that that is your true purpose and that you're fulfilling that purpose and that you are, you, you feel that you are lined up with what you're to do. And this makes a massive difference to how well you feel. Now, every time you do the relaxation, you will find yourself being aligned with your purpose, being aligned with that energy that you have inside and allowing it to do its job and to take care of everyone belonging to you. And you will find that as that becomes stronger and stronger in you, that that transforming effect would just happen automatically. You don't have to think about it. It would just happen automatically as you walk around. That's really marvelous. Really, really good. So now you're, you're going to take this experience with you throughout the day and you will find that it will be it will come with you into your your job out to your friends and um, everywhere that you go that energy will be released and look after everything on your behalf so what we're going to do now is we're just going to move back up to the surface very gently now and taking with us that sense of well-being that we have is really incredible. Okay, counting to three and three back up to one, you will find yourself moving gently and easily back up to the surface. Three, moving gently now and easily right back up, taking with you now this experience, this sense of well-being. Two, gently and easily moving right back up to the surface, but feeling really, really well, incredibly well, better than you've ever felt before. And as we reach one, uh, the eyes just opening. 
and you feel incredibly relaxed and very, very well. And one. Eyes just opening now. Very good. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Thanks again, Tom. No problem. No problem. It's always great the extra level of energy that you feel after that. You, you almost feel yeah. brighter or more alert from it. It's uh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. really brilliant. Yeah. A lot to do with the fact that you're kind of lining yourself up with what a person's purpose actually is, you know, which is yeah. something we might talk about at a, at a further stage. Um, I suppose my my it's difficult for me to to, to not mention the fact that. Um, if they want, if people wanted to pursue this to a different level, that's the function of the seminars. That's yeah. where anything that I know about the subject, I learned it. So it's 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 just that I find that it's good to be able to, if the person becomes really interested in this territory, yeah. I love to be able to look. If this is something that you want to pursue further, this is where you go. Because if I'm only going to do this relaxation once a week, and it's it's pretty much it's limited by that itself. But if the person felt well, okay, this is the subject that I'm fascinated by, and I would really like to do something more about it. To me, then I I, I would not feel great if I said, well, I'm sorry, this is all we do. But in actual fact, this is just the start of the journey, and that's what's marvelous about it. And if you wanted to really get in there and learn more about it and to become more proficient at the, in that whole area and to become, I suppose, uh, uh, what I would call a more complete human being, which may sound a little bit presumptuous on me, but there you are. You, you, you understand when you've done it, the difference. So, um, so that's what the seminars are about. And as you know, if there's any, uh, if you need to find out any more, there is a whole section on the uh, gym site and on uh, the Duke World site about the seminars and you can just yeah. pursue that yourselves then and follow up on that. But I'm always very happy to be able to kind of remind you because I, if I was becoming super enthusiastic about how well I felt as a result of doing the relaxation, I want to know what to do next. And so I, I like there to be a, a promotional ability of the person to go from one stage to the next. I don't like it flatlining. No, like no, it's, progression. I, I like that. Yeah. 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 So, so it's the Educo seminar. That's what we're, when we're mentioning seminar, that's the one that we mean. And uh, they happen normally four times a year, but at the moment, there is a bit of a pause as there is on everything else. But um, yeah, we, we're both big fans. It's made such a difference to us. And it really is um, on the seminar, you really explore the aspect of your mind that, that, we're, that we're only touching on here. And uh, you really will learn a lot about life energy. And then you also learn so much about relationships, about nutrition, diet, training, business. It really covers so many different aspects, which it's all very much interconnected. And uh, yeah, we, we really love it. Incredibly enjoyable. Incredibly. Yeah. So for, for those of you who joined us, thank you so much for spending the, taking the time to spend with us. And we hope you enjoyed the relaxation. Tom, thanks once again for taking the time to on a Thursday evening. And uh, for those of you that are going to watch it later, we, we really hope you enjoy it and or hope you enjoyed it. Um, you should also check out the nutrition events or talks that we do on Wednesdays. The one we did yesterday with Martin Ford was brilliant. It's all about protein. It very much connects with what Tom was talking about earlier and uh, really links in with this idea of growth hormone and understanding about balancing out your insulin levels and really knowing how much protein, etc., that you need to take. It's such an important aspect to tie in the nutrition. You really can't can't really do it without any of the aspects and uh, so we would really recommend that you check out those nutrition talks they're all on our Facebook page they're recorded and uh, you can look at them anytime and obviously we've been doing these relaxations for a while I don't know how many weeks Tom maybe 14 or 15 weeks I think um, if not more so you can also check out the other relaxations we do and we do encourage you to spend time for the 20 minutes or half an hour that we did there. You can re-listen to it and it does make such a difference to practice it on a daily basis to really develop that. And again, if you're interested in finding out more and you really find it's working for you, then we do recommend the Aduco seminar. 
So Tom, thanks again, and thank you everybody, and we will see you, we hope, next Thursday. Yeah. Adios. Thanks a lot, and let's see if I can manage to